This vintage clip has the only over the board stalemating blunder made by the greatest world chess champion of all time, Garry Kasparov. This happened in the 1988 World Bliss Championship against Kirill Dimitrov. Let's see what actually happened in the game. In this famous position, Garry Kasparov has a white piece and Kirill Dimitrov has a black piece and both of them have even material. 4 pawn each from both sides and same colored bishop but despite of all of these, Garry Kasparov is completely winning. Kasparov starts his stalemating journey with the move b4 so creating the passer on the queen side and black does a takes b3 and pass on so Garry Kasparov now has a passer a pawn. So game continued with bishop takes b3 and bishop to b5. Now the major problem for Kirill is that his pawns are on light square defended by the king and enemy also has a light square bishop. So now he has to keep an eye on this pawn and also on the passer which is an impossible task. So Kasparov continues the game with a4 bishop goes to a6 with the intention of playing bishop to c8 protecting this pawn and bringing the king closer to the pawn. So this actually happens in the game we have bishop to d5, bishop to c8 and bishop to c6 and now black starts to bring the king closer. King to e6, bishop to b5, king to d6 and now bishop to f1. With the intention of if black tries to take the a4 pawn, he will play bishop to h3, grab his both pawn and create the passer of himself, which actually happens in the game. We have king to c5, bishop to h3, king to b4 and bishop takes f5. So here black declines the trade of a bishop with bishop to a6, bishop grabs the e4 pawn, king grabs the a4 pawn and now king e5. So now it is actually a race and white is completely winning this race. King b4, f4, king c5, f5, bishop c4, f6, bishop f7, bishop f5, king c6, bishop e6, bishop g6, f7, bishop takes f7 and bishop takes f7. This position is completely hopeless for black king just comes closer to this s6 pawn and in the end just grabs it and now king f8, king g6, king e7 and now s6 and this pawn just becomes a queen. Now let's see how Gary Kaspar screwed this position up with a famous stalemate. Kaspar's stalemating journey continues with king b4, queen to d4 check so tries to box the king on the a file and now king b5, bishop to d5 and now queen to a6 and it is actually made in two with a move queen to b4, king to a7 and now queen to b7 is a checkmate. But here you are Gary Kasparov and there is only one move that still made the game. So any guesses? It is a move king to c5 and now black king has literally no moves and plus he is not in check and the game is dropped. So that's how world champion bungled the completely winning position. So if you like the video do like and subscribe the channel and stay tuned for the more updates.